Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. There's a lot of back and forth in politics, a lot of name calling, a lot of like, hey, you know, you're a poopy pants and hey, I hate you, you're stupid face. You remember the uh, giant douche in the turd sandwich, right? Very rarely do two major political names go up directly against each other because most people in politics are just generally cowards, right? People aren't debating as much anymore. The presidential debates aren't as fun. The moderators sort of step in between the candidates. You don't get to see the head to head. That's what we want. We live in America. We like seeing the rumble in the jungle. We like seeing the head to head prize fight matchup. And so this is why we were thrilled this week that Donald Trump and Joe Biden spoke in the same teeny Pennsylvania city at the same week, three days apart, 72 hours apart from each other. And so you were able to pretty much match them up and align sort of the vibe check of a Donald Trump rally matched with a Joe Biden HOA Uh, rambling screed from a dementia patient. This was a moment where you could finally see them kind of go like head to head with the movements. Whatever the movement Joe Biden is a part of, we don't really know what it's called, uh, you know, again, like the Werther's original dementia class, or the MAGA movement, much maligned and much demonized. However, it was actually Joe Biden who was looking like a demon earlier this week. We'll get to that in just a moment. So let's begin with the comparison. What did Donald Trump's event look like? What did it feel like? Well, the video evidence is before you. What did Joe Biden's event look like? I mean, you have there the Donald Trump Stadium uh, packed full of patriotic Americans to the brim, larger than any crowd that uh, watched a college football game this weekend, most likely. Uh, And so what did the Joe Biden event look like as it pertains to the amount of people attending? Look kind of like this. And thanks, Fox News, for getting the wide shot. And give them... We expect them to do everything. We expect them to be to protect us, to be psychologists, and to be sociologists. I mean, we expect you to do everything. I'm not joking. Everything. You realize more police officers are killed dealing with domestic violence than anything else? You realize that? The point is, we ask so much of you. So much of you. I've not met a cop Who likes a bad cop? Wow, yikes. Okay, all right. So Joe Biden's just pretty much old man yells at cloud uh, meme, and it's painful, really, to watch. The wide shot was gotten there by Fox, and we say thank you. You can see that Joe Biden was essentially talking to an empty gymnasium, and nobody was responding. There was no energy. Again, angry old man at HOA meeting uh, with melted Werther's original in his pocket. What was the conversation like from the podium? What were they talking about uh, inside of their speeches last week? Well, Donald Trump was talking about how Joe Biden is, in fact, a dictator. As you know, this week, Joe Biden came to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to give the most vicious, hateful and divisive speech ever delivered by an American president vilifying 75 million citizens, plus another probably 75 to 150. 
if we want to be accurate about it, as threats to democracy and as enemies of the state. You're all enemies of the state. He's an enemy of the state. You want to know the truth? The enemy of the state is him and the group that control him, which is circling around him. Do this, do that, Joe. You're going to do this, Joe, right? I think Philadelphia was a great choice to make this speech of hatred and anger. His speech was hatred and anger. By the way, the next morning he forgot what he said. You saw that. Dictators raid their political opponents. Dictators, of course, send their Gestapo and Stasi down to kick in the doors and threaten and raid. That's exactly what's happened here with Donald Trump. So what was uh, the vibe of Joe Biden's speech? Well, for this speech, we're going to pop on over to Philadelphia, same state, uh, same week. And Joe Biden giving his very famous Hitlerian speech, which spawned 100 million memes. Joe Biden uh, giving his comments uh, essentially proving Donald Trump right that he is a Stalinist evil dictator. MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards, backwards to an America where there is no right to choose, no right to privacy, no right to contraception, no right to marry who you love. They promote authoritarian leaders and they fan the flames of political violence that are a threat to our personal rights, to the pursuit of justice, to the rule of law, to the very soul of this country. They look at the mob that stormed the United States Capitol on January 6th, brutally attacking law enforcement, not as insurrectionists who placed a dagger at the throat of our democracy, but they look at them as patriots. And they see their MAGA failure to stop a peaceful transfer of power after the 2020 election as preparation for the 2022 and 2024 elections. They tried everything last time to nullify the votes of 81 million people. This time, they're determined to succeed in thwarting the will of the people. That's why respected conservatives like Federal Circuit Court Judge Michael Ludwig has called Trump and the extreme MAGA Republicans, quote, a clear and present danger to our democracy. Yes, and no amount of CNN changing the hue of the uh, Nazi red background uh, was going to do anything. Look, now the background's pink. (laughs) Here we have a... True, two Americas before you. You have dictator Biden speaking to empty gyms, and you have P- America first, patriot Donald Trump speaking to packed audiences of patriotic people who are very excited to be there. Now, where did the excitement crescendo? Well, for Donald Trump, it crescendoed in a beautiful moment where they played music uh, throughout the stadium to Donald Trump's uh, uh close right so how did donald trump close his speech we've never seen it before they played this beautiful these beautiful melodic uh uh uh, uh, string music and it was it was inspiring it stirred the soul watch there is no mountain we cannot climb there is no summit we cannot reach there is no challenge we cannot meet there is no victory we cannot have We will not bend, we will not break, we will not yield. We will never give in, we will never give up. We will never, ever, ever back down. As long as we are confident and united, the tyrants we are fighting do not stand even a chance because we are Americans and Americans kneel to God and God alone. My fellow citizens, this incredible journey we are on together has only just begun, and it is time to start talking about greatness for our country again. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious American nation. So with the help of everyone here today and citizens all across our land, 
We will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you, Pennsylvania. Thank you. How did Donald Trump end his speech? Well, by strumming the heartstrings of all patriotic Americans who want better for this nation. How did Joe Biden end his speech? Well, um, by breathing into a microphone that wasn't on and then licking the face of his wife, who was full cringe and cope, and then wobbling off the stage. And the Marines looked like they would have had to probably catch him like he was falling off his bike. Ugh, come on. Here you go. God bless you all. Democracy. Thank you. My favorite part about that clip is Joe Biden going, democracy! He's like, he's Braveheart. Like, he's Braveheart. It's freedom! Like, it's like, it just doesn't work. None of it works! And that's the difference between a Joe Biden event and a Donald Trump event in the same state, the same city, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Uh, population 40,000. Uh, Donald Trump showing that the ultra-MAGA king is still king and more powerful than ever. And Joe Biden showing that he is more weak and beleaguered and sad than ever. It is truly sad to watch Joe Biden do this sort of authoritarian spiral. It doesn't belong here in America. And we think he's going to get his ass kicked very soon because he is doing this. It is not the reason that people elected Joe Biden. This isn't what people want to see in their politics in a free country. Uh, this is terrifying. Uh, it's evil. And and we are going to send it packing uh, very, very soon. And so uh, good riddance and way to go, Donald Trump, man. That was a vibe. Thank you for watching. Our channel is here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears taste like ice cream. We ridicule the establishment and we do so because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up. Please punch, subscribe, and ring the bell to let you know when we have a new video. Don't you want us to let you know when we're live? Please check out more of our videos here and sign up for our mailing list in case something happens and the plug gets pulled. We want to be able to keep in touch with you. My name is Benny Johnson, and thank you for watching Based Patriots Stay Free.